This website is full of frauds, man. Super Mario Party Jamboree came out two weeks ago. 378 viewers right now. 378 viewers right now? Ain't none of the big streamers fucking with Mario Party two weeks after? Okay, let's just quickly, let's type in just chatting. Just chatting. 343,000 motherfucking viewers. Bro, Su Super Mario Party Jamboree. 386 viewers. Makes me sick, man. Makes me fucking sick. There's a for every one motherfucker watching Mario Party, there's a thousand people watching just chatting. Are you kidding me, man? Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. All the real quote unquote real gamers are live in just chatting, talking about how games have gone woke, doing podcast number five of 32 this week. Meanwhile, me, the political streamer, is the only motherfucker playing games on this fucking website. What the hell happened? It doesn't make any fucking sense. The whole world's gone topsy-turvy, man. Do a talk to a collab? She's dead to me. I, her soul is compromised. I saw her ad where she's telling people to bet on the election. Did you know you can bet on the election? Like, you can bet on who's going to be president? Yeah, it's this new app called Kaoshi. There's a hot new app called Kaoshi. Apparently, it's available in all 50 states. That ad gets served to me constantly. The world's so fucking fucked, man. <laughs> I will say, I asked uh, Mathis. I said, Mathis, here's where I am. How much of the game is left? And uh, in the next message, he spoiled everything that happens in the last 20% of the game. <laughs> He didn't say, like, you've got, uh, you know, 15, 20% left. He said, oh, you've got this, this, and this, and then the final boss, which has three phases. And I went, what the hell? He didn't, he didn't spoil, like, story beats or anything like that, but he was like, here's exactly what to expect coming up. And I was like, all right, well, you know what? I, I'm not spoiler-averse. I'm just a little surprised. It was a little audacious, I guess. I guess it's on me for not saying uh, no spoilers. Holy cow, that's loud, man. I have an invite code to the bazaar if you want. It's like Slay the Spire. So here's the thing. Yesterday, an individual named Gavin Newsom came into the chat. With his first time message, they said, um, what is your opinions on the current governor of California? I said, that's pretty funny. What a funny gimmick account. Their second message, I can't remember. They said, please play the bazaar. So I, I felt like I was becoming a victim of astroturfing. And then in their third message, they said, you're so acid, this I feel bad for you. Uh, so as a result, I don't know if they are simply a fan of the game or if they were maybe an independent contractor designed to virally market and astroturf the game. But the game is forever now associated with that chatter in my head. So I'm not saying I'll never play it. What I will say is uh, I'm going to need to to get a better recommendation than an anonymous chatter. If a new restaurant opened up in your city and someone cut you off in traffic and then said, hey, go to this restaurant, you would probably be less likely to go to that restaurant than in any average other restaurant that you could pull from because you have a negative association with it. And that's not the fault of the developers. It's, I, I assume, it's not the fault of the publisher. It's, it's current governor of California, Gavin Newsom's fault. Oh, here we go. Northern Lion is the best example of how smart people can look unintelligent to others. Dude can charm a population and kick your ass at any kind of memorization-based trivia, but he still struggles with logic puzzles. Everyone is most likely equally intelligent, but they just specialize in different subjects. And the reason people feel smarter than others is they're only comparing their best skills with others as opposed to their best skills versus the other's best skills. Uh, you, a genius, everyone is equally intelligent, actually. Our second decree. No more rich people or poor people. From now on, there will only be... Uh, hang on. I gotta think about this for a minute. Can someone explain the red napkin? Why is that a save point? On the PlayStation 1, they only had, uh, 16 megabytes of 
virtual memory. Guys, I think Pyramid Head is going to kill me. Let's not waste any ammo on this. This is a scripted death. Wait, you're goaded? I mean, Pyramid Head, he's kind of a bitch, honestly. Okay, okay, well that's, that, the one frame jab is, that's kind of hard to deal with. Keep their heads ringing, that's what I always say. Fuck this dude, James is the danger. Alright, that one stung, that one stung a little bit. More drinks, more syringes. No sweat, man. I can't, I can't see! Who's the Miyazaki of Silent Hill? Masahiro? Masahiro, I can't see. He wasn't involved in the remake. Okay, but we need someone with a Japanese name. Okay, I think I might shoot him. You run here? But the arms, they weren't letting me through, dude. Shoot him two times and then run through the hands? Thanks for your help. Oh wait, it's actually helping, helping a great deal. <laughs> Great fight earlier, though. I got my practice in. Marie. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't really care for her. <laughs> I see her as a symbol of the malevolent town in which we're presently trapped in. I'm not sure she was ever a real person to begin with. And at, at, at the last time that I saw her, I think she might have been actually a corporeal form of the evil energy that permeates Silent Hill itself. Yeah, she, that's all I'm saying. She, she was shady. Now, if at the end of it, they're like, by the way, Maria was real the whole time, then I'll be like, damn, I should have mourned. She was just a little quirked up. I think you're right. I think it might be a... Hoctimus by Teslua type situation. Mary. Maria was a fembot the whole time. Play sulfur or I will shave my head bald like you. I struggle sometimes as a streamer with remembering that every single person who types a message in chat is like a real individual with a... Uh, like a, with hopes and dreams and parents and like a childhood and like a, an education and ambitions and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> like the, the sum total of your life led you to type that message. Even if you're like 15 years old, that's kind of crazy, man. I want more for you, even if you don't want more for yourself. I want you to be a real person. I don't want you to just be a name on the screen. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I got the Buster Sword! <laughs> Most media literate Silent Hill 2 player. Oh, God, you, James is gonna be so powerful now, man! Oh my God, I'll probably one-tap Pyramid Head! Yes! Manly James can barely pick up Giga Chad Pyramid Head's base weapon. Me trying to take the groceries in from the car in one trip. Upvotes to the left if you agree with me, gamers. Couldn't leave well enough alone, huh? You just had to follow me all the way out here. How many times do I have to kill you? That's me, bro. Awkward. Eddie, no 
Whoa. Eddie, it's, it's me. Oh. Uh, hi, James. Eddie, what are you doing? Well, what's it look like I'm doing? You fat, disgusting piece of shit, you make me sick. <laughs> what the hell? You fat ass, you gonna run to your mama? Waste of skin, why don't you just kill yourself? Hurt people, hurt people, man. The question was, is this your handwriting? Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty, dumb, it's all the same smart, you did, and a corpse can't laugh. Eddie, what's that? You want to talk down to me some more? Tell me to relax. You're just like the rest of them, James. No, I don't want. Shut to. up. You think I'm stupid. It's not the type of humor we do I on the show, Arthur. But you've been laughing at me all along. Ever since we first the, Literally the only time I laughed at you was when you were eating you ice cream with your bare hands you? in the movie theater. That's the only time. Every other time I had a lot of sympathy, but the ice cream with your bare hands is some serious, oh. like, degenerate behavior. Get a spoon or a, a scoop or something. You, this town called you too. Yeah, you and me are the same. We're not like other people, don't you know that? Uh, well, you're about to find out. <laughs> Wait till my dad hears about this. They wouldn't make you fight you Eddie in a room full of you, meat, James? right? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look? What do you get when you mix a uh, society that doesn't care about people with a lonely sociopath? He tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> and now it's your turn, James. Use your ears, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice try. I, I, I'm, I'm behind the beef, bro. I'm behind the beef. Alright, I'm rushing him. He's one. Oh shit! <laughs> He's got dodges, man. Let me out, bro. Eddie, what the fuck? Do you have like 20, 40 vision or so? Whoa! He's out of ammo, bro! In Silent Hill, they never swing for the beef. Did you see the cinema, though? I see him. Miyazaki S. Delay on the attack. Get away from me, Eddie! You're sick, man. This town corrupts people. Oh, Jesus Christ! I saw you. The drugs gave me the vision. Okay, honestly, great shot. But I'll, I'll, I'll sip my way away. I'll sip my way through that any day of the week, Eddie. Bullshit, bullshit. James, you sold? Eddie's fucking cracked, dude. <laughs> He's fucking insane, man! He's got me shadow boxing. He shot me in the head at point blank range. Get him. Are you kidding me, man?
I, I don't I don't believe it. I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know what this Ed, Eddie is unbelievable. Eddie has ten thousand HP, and he's too fast somehow. Is Eddie indestructible? He's very strong. <laughs> but he's specced all into HP. Like, he's used feed to last hit like seven hallway fights by now. Please, please, he's doing the death pose. Thank God, man. Eddie, tell me your secret, man. Jacked up on Ozempic. That's not funny, okay? That's not something I would laugh at if I wasn't live right now. Come on. Begging. Begging for a save point, man. Begging. Oh, <laughs> a save point. And the outdoors. Feel the rain on your freaking skin, samurai. Every time you leave, uh, I'm just going to call them dungeons. Every time you leave a dungeon in Silent Hill, it feels like if you've been in a casino for like five hours. And then you go outside and you're like, what the fuck? The sun? Looks like he's about to cry. Well, James has been through some stuff, man. Like, not only like what's going on with his wife, but then also like, I mean, he killed Eddie and got shot like 22 times in the process. He's seen Maria die two times. He's gone toe to toe with Pyramid Head. He fought a box with metal arms and the slug that was fused to a bed. Like, I would probably be having some catharsis at this moment too. He's injected two liters of random fluid into his body. Yeah, no doubt about that. Bro hasn't even taken a nap. Half the people in my generation are like, I can't even make a phone call unless I've had my iced coffee. James is out here showing Gen X superiority, man. Me, when I'm in a complaining about my generation being forgotten between two larger generations competition and my opponent had aluminum slides as a kid. <laughs> POV, you're trapped in the room with your Gen X uncle. You don't know shit about Nirvana. I was there when McDonald's released the Big Extra and the Sausage and Egg McMuffin. That video is so good. It's kind of blowing my mind that it's from the guy who filmed the, oh, the bar's full, it's real fucking funny. Like, there's a, that's a redemption arc so far. Missed a map, okay, that's extremely important. Do you get bored when you're watching movies, NL? Uh, no, not a, usually not if it's a movie made for people over the age of like 10. There's a little temptation to uh, look at my phone a couple times when I'm watching Trolls Band together. But it only hurts me because I know my daughter's going to end up like quizzing me on that. Go ahead, ask me anything about Trolls Band together. Oh, who are the five members of Brozone? Okay, Baby Branch, John Dory, Clay, Floyd, and Bruce, also known as Spruce. Oh, really? What are their archetypes? Branch was the baby. John Dory was the leader, a.k.a. the bossy one. Floyd was, Floyd was the sensitive one. Clay is the funny one. And Spruce was the heartthrob, okay? Why would your three-year-old ask you about tropes? No, you don't understand. They, they verbatim mention these archetypes in the Trolls movie. You haven't, you haven't seen Trolls band together, obviously. It's hard for you because you got... Um, you gotta watch Trolls 1 first, and then you gotta watch Trolls 2, also known as Trolls Band Together. Or sorry, Trolls um, World Tour is the second one. We haven't seen World Tour yet, because it kind of is a little spooky for my daughter, because it has uh, Queen Barb, who is a hard rock troll. She sings, Here I Am, Rock You Like a Hurricane, and turns all the techno trolls into hard rockers. You're not selling me on this? I thought you guys loved watching kids' cartoons, despite being like damn near 30 years old. What more do you need, man? 15 year old Bluey son or 15 year old Dora daughter. Rest assured, I will be showing my child PG-13 movies from age nine onwards in the hope that that sorry fate doesn't come to pass for either of us. 
If there are even still any movies made for adult, adult audiences by the time she turns 12 anyway, I don't know. It might all just be Ryan Reynolds, Gal Gadot, and The Rock ensemble pictures that somehow cost Netflix $300 million to make, even though the script was written by AI and there's no fucking lighting. Intermezzo Op 118. Damn, this dude's got haters everywhere, man. 118 Ops. Oops. Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. I guess I deserved it, huh? The fart face that I am. Damn, he holds a grudge, maybe. man. Then again, maybe you're not so bad. Just... Annoying. Say, do you uh, remember Eddie? So... You got any other things planned? I think I saw a dark room back there you could lock me up in. Mm, no. I think you've had enough. For now. Someone's getting tired. Well, that's reassuring. Besides, I need your help finding Mary. She's here. Isn't she? I killed Eddie with a gun. Come on, tell me. I shot him in the gut ten times. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. Just Steely Dan posting? So there really is a letter. Done up in blueprint blue. Oh. Yeah. Wanna read it? Just... Don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? Who the fuck is Rachel, it's man? I, uh... I wouldn't worry about Rachel. There's about... 37 Rachels back at the hospital that aren't gonna hold a grudge. My dearest Laura. I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now. In a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please... Give him a chance. I don't think I was supposed to read that part. It's true, he can be a little surly sometimes. <laughs> and he doesn't laugh much. But underneath, he's a really sweet person. I love you, Laura. I love you like my very own daughter. I wish things were different. I wish we could be happy together, like we talked about. Even so, I know you will have a good life. P.S. Get the fuck out of Silent Hill ASAP. As soon as you graduate from high school, get a one-way bus ticket and don't look back. Your friend, Mary. The fog is making people... End of transmission. Hmm. Strange. Laura. What could she mean? How old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. Yeah, I mean... Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. On Discord? She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. She also talked a lot about you. You know? She even. What? What is it? Well, it kind of was his other letter. I think the one was for you. The envelope had your name on it. Did you read it? I wanted to. This one time, I almost did. Figured you didn't deserve to have it. But then I thought, Mary wouldn't want me to keep it from you. So I just sort of kept it for you. Here. Damn, she's like the USPS, man. Rain, sleep, Empty. snow, fucking poison, psychoactive fog. What? They're but still going to deliver the summons from the fucking it. IRS. <laughs> 
must have lost it. I gotta find it. Meanwhile, Canada Post is like, we couldn't deliver your letters. Why? Ah, I just didn't really feel like it today. Now, tell me, tell me why my ass has to go to the damn pharmacy and stand in an eight-person long line just to pick up a box from Play Asia that I didn't even fucking order, man. Just drop it on the front step, man. Old lady in front of me trying to buy 150 stamps with like a pocket full of dimes and shit. Laura. Should I start collecting stamps? Yeah, man, they're on the up for sure. Stamps only increase in value. Yeah, until like the last motherfucker who cares about them dies in like six months. <laughs> Sorry. But the, the nice way of saying it is you should not get into stamp collecting unless you care about stamps. If you care about stamps, then maybe get into stamp collecting. But getting into it because you think it's going to be lucrative seems kind of crazy to me. That is true. I mean, I think stamps are a good investment in the sense that like, if I had gone back to 2010 and bought, like, 100 stamps, that probably would have given me enough stamps that I would never have to buy one for the rest of my life. And even if the price of stamps goes up, fuck you, Tiff Macklin. I already got 97 more that I bought for, like, 32 cents a stamp. Look, oh, big spender. Sending three letters a year in the... Buck 22 uh, stamp uh, era? No, man, no. I bought these stamps back in the Obama administration, motherfucker. I've been living high on the hog ever since. They do complain. Every year, it's actually like every five years, but like the price of stamps goes up by like three cents a stamp. And that shit goes fucking platinum on next door. The petition to not raise the price of stamps by three cents. It would be nice if the price of stamps didn't go up, but it still seems like a, a bargain to me that you can send an object through physical space for like less than a dollar. Like in Canada, you could send a, a letter. You could write some shit down and put it in an envelope in Victoria, dip your toe in the Pacific Ocean, go to any mailbox and they'll send that shit to like Newfoundland for you for a dollar. Less, I don't even know how much a stamp costs these days, but you can send an object through physical space for free by carrying it. All right, how about you carry my fucking great aunt's birthday card to Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, motherfucker. Come pick it up in my house in Vancouver. What are you going to do? Lime scooter that shit across the country? It's like 5,200 kilometers. The travel's already happening. Because because they're the postal service. That's why the traveling is happening. It's not like they just find the motherfucker going to Halifax and say, can you carry this for us? Just put it in your backpack, bro. It'll be cool. We got motherfuckers in chat trying to tell me that the mail is a scam. Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> a human being is driving your package across the, this great continent, man. What do you mean it's a scam? <laughs> A stamp is a dollar. What are you talking about? You can't buy shit for a dollar anymore, man. You guys are crazy. Banks are a scam? Okay, you're actually right about that one, though. But, like, what are you gonna do? That's why what really makes me mad about the fucking Silicon Valley bank. I'm 2022 posting, maybe 2023. How does the bank go out of business, bro? Then all the fucking second year business majors come out of the woodwork to say like, well, their losses were higher than their revenue. And you're like, yeah, but you're fucking supposed to be lending money at like prime plus one and borrowing money at like prime minus one, man. You're a bank. You're a bank. You've got an infinite money glitch, bro. How do you go out of money? It doesn't make any sense. Theo Guiga, back me up here, okay? I'm wearing the Patagonia navy blue quarter zip today. I think I know a little bit about financial markets. Straight dill pickle or something fancy. Listen, you're going to get me in trouble again. Let's go down and save real quick. <laughs> We've been through this before. I like the taste of dill pickles. When we go to a burger restaurant and the burger comes with a pickle, my wife gives me her pickle and I eat it. I know librarian's going to love that one. 
Regardless, I like the taste of a, bil- a dill pickle, okay? Or, no, or a sweet pickle, for that matter. But I no longer purchase a jar of dill pickles from the grocery store. The older I've gotten, the less I've found myself prone to eating like one to two dill pickles straight out of the jar. It's just like a little too wet, a little too salty for my, my middle-aged taste buds at this point. So like a one pickle per meal sort of guy? No, like a, I probably consume a pickle in total once a month. One per month is kind of low. Everybody has to choose the cross they bear in this life. Okay, hang on. This is the solution to a puzzle. Cleaning staff note with room key 107. Since it's taking you so long to get to the conference room, you might as well drop by 107. I'm leaving you the key. One of the guests has made quite a mess. Oh, no, Eddie. (laughs) Eddie was here. What I was going to say is you choose your... um, You choose your battles and your crosses to bear in this world. At the present place that I'm at, meal prep for myself, meal prep for my toddler, raw ingredients in the fridge, three or four different kinds of beverages in the fridge. The jar of pickles simply takes up more space than I find serves me well for how much I want to eat a pickle. Would it be nice to have like a pickle with every meal or half a pickle with with every lunch or something like that? It'd be okay. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. But considering you got to pay money for the pickles and then you also got to store them in the fridge, our fridge space is is at a bit of a premium. We got a lot of Tupperwares in there. We got a lot of lunch lease. I previously had been just been keeping them in the pantry, but apparently that's not great for the, the dairy. I've recently learned. Get another fridge? Yeah, I'm not going to buy another fridge just to eat pickles. It's a relatively minor problem in my life. We have too many engineers in this fucking world, man. We got a lot of solutions in search of a good motherfucking problem. Mini fridge? I just don't like pickles enough to dedicate the space to it, man. I'm just being honest with you. I like them okay. If someone's given me a pickle with my meal, I'm happy to eat it. But I'm not making a special trip to Home Depot to get a place to store my Polsky or Gorky's, okay? Lots of Korean people have a kimchi fridge? Yes! Yes, that's true. I'm not sure really what it has to do with the circumstances at hand, but that is true. Unless we're just going, you know, bar for bar at trivia night. Midwestern people have a meat freezer. Did you know Mario was originally called Jumpman? I can do this all day. (laughs) You need me to name all the members of the Traveling Wilburys? Uh, fucking Tom Petty, Bob Dylan, um, um, um. <laughs> Fourth song on Spiderland. Okay, so it's Breadcrumb Trail, then it's Nosferatu, man. I think the fourth one is, um, it's the, hang on, I need to open Amazon Music. Is it Washer? It's Don, a man. I'm a poser. The, the Rizzler has uninvited me from his... I don't know where people talk about music these days. <laughs> it is washer. I'm a god! For dinner is also ambient. Yeah, if you gotta eat it with no YouTube. <laughs> yes! How is my man always on low health? How is he still playing this game? Why is his health always so low? Why does he have so many bullets? Why does he have so few healing items? Here's a question. What are you doing with your fucking life? It's 10.31 a.m. on a Wednesday. You're out here playing blackjack. I didn't th- I didn't think you could fit there. That's my bad. I'm European. Okay, say no more. Any more healing items. <laughs> Europeans be like, I can walk to the grocery store. That is damn true. That is exactly what they sound like. Europeans be like, what's the difference between milk and America? If you leave milk alone for 400 years, it'll develop culture. Then you're like, what, what's your culture? And they're like, funny hat. 
Fermented fish? No, no, my culture is fermented fish. No, my culture is fermented fish. Luckily, I'm Canadian, so I'm pitting both sides against each other. <laughs> that is an all-time great TikTok. Don't get me wrong. I, I also love making fun of the United States. But that TikTok that's like... Do you know in England they call a trunk a boot? Isn't that weird? And then, well, at least our nation's schools aren't Call of Duty levels. So in Britain, you guys drive on the left side of the street? That sure is peculiar, huh? Well, at least our schools are not a showing gallery, mate! What do you call cigarettes? Ooh, we couldn't use that word for cigarettes. No, that wouldn't really fly here. <laughs> Laugh it up! At least our schools are not like the Call of Duty video game where people are being shot to death with guns. Did you know in England they drive on the other side of the road? Well, at least we can go outside without being shot by an M16. It ain't that serious. I was kind of Vegeta posting, I'll give you that. Can we get a real docket, please? No. No, you cannot. Sometimes I don't know what we're playing until we start playing it, to be honest. And I saw people, they were pitting two bad bitches against each other. They were like, Dan gives his mods a docket every week. And I'm like, yeah, that's because he. it's a little bit easier when you have a contractually obligated sponsor stream every day. <laughs> So you know exactly what's coming up, man, because you got you got PDFs that are telling you how to how to do your job. There's I, I'm disincentivized to give you a docket. Because if you don't like what's on the docket, you might not show up. But if you don't like what I'm playing when you get here, you might decide that I'm still kind of funny and stick around. What's the point of the docket then? Honestly, the mods add commands to Nightbot that I didn't even know existed. What are you talking about? Like, when the hell did we get exclamation point dulls, man? Like a year ago? You added it? I assure you, I did not add it. <laughs> that does not sound like me. You got me confused with some other guy. It does feel good, though, to watch people... Look, exclamation point towerborn is still there. But to watch people blow themselves out using sponsored stream exclamation marks that I actually have deprecated from Nightbot, that does feel amazing. The era of there being 25 old sponsored commands in Nightbot is over. I'm not going to say that it's because one sponsor said, Hey, before you do our sponsorship, can you delete all the decoded uh, old commands that you've got in there? And then I just have made it more of a habit since then. <laughs> I'm not going to say that's what caused it. Who was it? I don't even remember, honestly. All these names like Tears and Rain. Yet you remember every movie from 1987? Yeah, because that matters to me. You tend to remember things that are more important to you. Our government needs stopped, though. That's the important thing. You ever check out her other videos? I saw one where she's like crying and says like all she ever wanted in her life was someone to love her. And then like after like nine seconds of crying, she instantly snaps into the Jasper County line again. With like this, she locked in. Because I, I was going to ask a question, but I honestly didn't think chat was mature enough for it. Do women lock in or is that exclusively like a men thing? And you might say that like, because people, they, they can't talk about these nuanced issues. They just go, oh, it sounds like misogyny. It's not misogyny because locking in is fake. So men believing in locking in is actually an insult towards men. You, ca you can't lock in. You go to class, you study, you do the homework, and over the course of four or five months, the knowledge bakes into your brain, and then when it's time for the final exam, you just say what you know. You know, you can't just be like, hey, are you going to study for the final? No, I'm just going to lock in. You can't do it. I can lock in. No, you can't. I, I, it, I, I've seen it done once. When LeBron James looks at the ball, that's him locking in. But unless you're LeBron James, I don't think you're locking in. 
Login. Yeah, Xer baby, login. You appear to be confused. But I feel like I've never seen like a tweet from a woman that is like, I locked in. I feel like instead of like pretending that they can just go Super Saiyan, they just like talk about their feelings with someone that's close to them and then like work through their issues emotionally instead. Stop this bit. This is not a problematic bit. You're just a baby. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. <laughs> He's so right. It's so annoying. It's like I get whenever people are like, so saying women enjoy sushi more than men a little bit on average is very problematic. It's the same as when like some 19 year old comes into chat and tells my 36 year old ass to drink water. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm, I've been an adult for 20 times longer than you. Don't condescend to me. The joke could be like, women love sushi. <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole joke. <laughs> my impression of a woman. Do you feel like sushi tonight? This is Chibli's joke, not mine, okay? Don't cancel me. Women will be doing something else and then out of nowhere say something crazy like, do you want to eat sushi tonight? You know what I think probably alienates more women than the words that come out of my mouth? Is anytime I say something funny, a bunch of 14 year olds in chat go, well, there goes the last woman that was watching the stream. That shit would annoy the fuck out of me. I mean, I don't want to tell women how to feel. That's very problematic. But I think I would probably get annoyed if every time the streamer said something funny, someone said like, well, there goes the last woman. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Yep, it's annoying. Librarian, how do you feel about that? Read the comments. Soak in them. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> a picture of this guy in a gaming magazine when I was 10 ruined my life. It's funny the stuff that like traumatizes me, right? I definitely got fucked up by like Independence Day when I was a kid. Anything with aliens, man. Independence Day, Mars attacks. Lost in space when Gary Oldman turns into like a weird alien spider. Alright, take those. Michael Jackson's Thriller music video. Totally understand. Totally understand. Itchy and scratchy. My parents let me watch The Simpsons, probably from when I was like five years old onwards. But they always made me change the channel or like leave the room when Itchy and Scratchy came on too realistic <laughs> are you getting more conservative as you get older no um it's interesting to think about i don't know why people act like it's a guarantee i think i've gotten like a little bit less conservative as i've gotten older maybe even a lot less conservative i'm, I'm not trying to like out of touch post here but i think it's easy to like when you start to make good money move like three steps to the right just because paying your taxes hurts but then like if after like a few years of that you haven't gotten used to it and then started to like realize that it actually pays for important services and helps out people who aren't lucky enough to be making a lot of money and still need to buy things like if i just look at it like you've really been complaining about taxes for like 42 fucking years and you're still rich like Get some new material, man. Your whole life is defined by like, I wish taxes were like 3% lower. That's like just a little sad to me. Like we're, there's important work to be done, man. So what I'm trying to say is just like abolish them all together. <laughs> Democrats, Republicans, what are they handshaking over in the middle? Our government needs stopped. That's the important thing to not lose sight of in the next six days. Well, there's a few important things. <laughs> it's a lot of important stuff to not lose sight of in the next, well, in the, maybe the next 100 years, but. I'm gonna check my map again, because I opened it, but I wasn't even really looking at anything. Should we go to the reading room? It has a big question mark. 
y'all got any of them? Remember when people used to say that with the Dave Chappelle scratching his neck gif? Y'all got any of them healing items? Top post on r slash Silent Hill 2. As a first time player who grew up playing Sony action games with infinite health, this is how I am every two seconds. Y'all got any of them healing drinks? Oh shit. Help. That seems good. How about the other side? Mary. Help Mary. Mary. Mary, Mary. Mary. Help. <laughs> Mary dead? Oh, I like where your head's at. No? Okay, Mary, Mary kill. Kill Mary? Help MILF? <laughs> Hawk to uh... <laughs> Will Mary. Will dead. Dead Mary. Deed. Will deed. Will heed. Feed picks. <laughs> Deal done. Oh, you genius. You're missing a clue? Ah, it doesn't seem right. I think they just wanted us to kind of... <laughs> just to send it. Just lock in. Me locking in. Uh... <laughs> I will say you could lock in if there's one time where you could really lock in is when you get a multiplication worksheet in middle school. There are times you'd be doing that worksheet and you'd be like three times four is 12, four times five is 20. But then if you saw that the kid beside you was like two questions ahead, you'd like remove the restrictor plate on your brain and you just go. You guys ever, do they still do this in school or are the schools too woke? Where the teacher would call two kids up to the front with like a chalk or a marker if you got a whiteboard, I guess. And then the first person to write the answer correctly to the math question gets to stay up and the other kid has to go sit down in their chair and cry. And then the winner stays and they call up another kid. That is when you lock in, man. When you're like 11 and it's you and the other kid in your class who knows math and your teacher hits you with like a 12 times nine or something like that. That'll get the ad adrenaline pumping. I don't think I'm built for this, man. From the front door, turn around, head right, and there's a gate. Okay, this is not the front door, but I can get... This is... Okay, from the front door which is here. Turn around. Is this an Xbox 360 thing? They call it the Xbox 360 because you, you, when you see it, you turn 360 degrees and walk away. That's a 180. Yeah, but it's not called the Xbox 180, is it? Now go straight and it'll be on the right. At which point do I go to the right? Nope. Okay, Joe said nope, so we go back. Thank you for your prompt feedback. Ah! Oh, why didn't you say so? Oh, man. Okay, thank you, Joe. Thank you. Joe is blessed with the ability to communicate, man. There's no doubt of it. And a working light bulb. Daniel, wilted flower, wilted flower, wilted underscore. Does this mean that the sunflower has fallen? Dan was quick off the draw today. He started fighting the sunflower like 10 minutes into my two hour ride and was still, I mean, it's the pot calling the kettle black because how long have I been opening my map in Silent Hill trying to figure out where to go? <laughs> But he was still working on it when I had to hop off. Do you remember where there was a broken light bulb? Yes. In the room 
that we opened with the reading room and it had a shadow on the light bulb. So we got a fucking... Thank you for the raid, by the way, Daniel. Combined light bulb and blood red paint. I thought for sure I was like operating on a level you've never seen before. You gotta open the can first. It cannot be opened by hand. The can opener is in a book that you can shoot. I, I remember this book, okay. At 217, there was a, a very strange book hanging on a terrace. And I looked at it and I said, that doesn't look right. But if I shoot it, everyone's going to make fun of me and they'll be like, you're wasting ammo. Is this game fun? It looks frustrating to play. Fun is a loaded term. Are you enjoying it? Yes, in a manner of speaking. It's... A, it can be unpleasant to play at times, but that's not a feeling that I'm- I need to shy away from. Would you enjoy it if you weren't streaming it? No, probably like... Less than three hours into the game, I would have, uh... Not known where to go, and then... Put it down and never picked it up again. Seven- Oh, Lakeshore Restaurant, because there is no 117. There's something about a hotel restaurant, man. I don't know what to say. Even if the hotel and the restaurant are kind of ass, you always feel like a G when you eat in the hotel restaurant. Can opener! <laughs> don't you feel like you're splashing out, man? When you wake up in the hotel and you're like, where do you want to go for breakfast? Well, there's a Burger King like half a mile down the road and you're like, you know what? Let's just go to the hotel restaurant for breakfast. I'm in the mood to pay 31 bucks for bacon and eggs. And then they bring the bill and you're like, I don't need to give you money. I just need to write down a three digit number on the bottom of the bill. And then magically, I don't have to pay for the food. As long as you write down someone else's room number. Guys who order Uber Eats and are named Mike hate this one simple trick. Look at your phone, put AirPods in, walk into a busy restaurant and say uh, Uber Eats order for Mike. Walk out with 17 bags of free food. It's fucked up. <laughs> Me in 24 years walking into every sushi restaurant in Vancouver and saying uh, DoorDash order for Olivia and just fill in my fucking pockets, man. <laughs> Oh, another piece of Otoro, please. Mm. And you can't beat the price. Why is he so maniacal? It's funny, humorous. Comedians are the modern day philosophers. You guys see the Rizzler on Jimmy Fallon? He done. Didn't we put that in, but they were like, Maybe they were like, obviously you're looking at the Prima strategy guide, so... Why would we ever watch Jimmy Fallon? Because the Rizzler was on it? I haven't seen it either, I've only seen the screenshot where they look like uh, a Pokemon's full evolution. They deserve to be treated with disdain. Nah, man, I feel like... Listen, I, I disagree with Slime. But I do... Oh, thank God, a save point. Um, I, I'll defend to the death his right to say it, because he's a, he's a natural born hater. He's not just, just hating for clout, like he feels the hate deep within him, and I, I embrace that because I think it makes us kindred spirits of a sort. That being said, I kind of hate the Hawk Tua. I think she's she squandered the goodwill that I had for her. But I got nothing... Oh shit, I put all my stuff in there, man. Maybe I'll restore my items real quick. Um, but I got nothing really against the the Costco guys. They just seem like they're they're sticking to the bit. Like the Costco guys have, I'm sure they've had offers, but to the best of my knowledge, they've never posted a TikTok that is like buy Boom Coin or something like that. As soon as they do that, then I'll I'll be a little bit more upset. But like, oh, I'm over the weight limit. I see. I did see the video of AJ, like, directing, and it does give off a dark energy. 
action. Three, two, one, boom! No, no, we're here with Jay Kinda Funny. No, no, oh, okay. don't worry. Yeah. No, we're here with Jay okay. Kinda Funny as first. Okay, okay. We're here with Jay Kinda Funny. And, and this, this is boom. boom. All right, all right, all right, one at a time. Okay. We're here with Jay Kinda okay, Funny, okay, and this okay. is boom or doom. And then you, I'll say this boom or doom. You say the chicken baker or the double chunk chocolate. The chicken baker. Or the double chunk chocolate cookie. I gotta go with the double chunk chocolate cookie. No, you gotta taste it. You gotta take it. First taste it. First taste the chicken bake. Oh. Then taste the double chunk chocolate cookie and then give your answer. Yeah, then okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, okay, sorry. Here, try the chicken bake. Okay. But I also feel like if you saw me parenting, you might feel like the same way, to be honest. You might be like, why is this guy so pressed about like his kid taking so long to put on her shoes? And the answer is because we got places to go, man. And like, like I could put your shoes on really fast. But then she's like, no, I want to do it. But then she's like not doing it. And I'm like, well, we got fucking swimming class in 15 minutes. Like we got to get it's, And it's a 17 minute drive. We got to get out of here. <laughs> it ruins the mystique of it being just a couple funny videos with this kid. Well, yeah, what do you think they're doing in the in the back part of the deli counter that they don't show to the customers, man? There's corpses and saws in there. That's how you get your ribeyes and your strip loins and your eye of round and stuff like that. You know, flesh comes in and steaks come out. Somebody's got to do the slicing. That's true. Everyone's like, oh, AJ has a dark energy in that video. Nobody talks about the fact that he's trying to direct Jay kind of funny, who clearly has no idea what the fuck he's doing, man. He can't, he can't, he's not hitting his mark. He's not hitting the line. It honestly seems like he doesn't even understand the general concept of the video that he's filming. Like the dude was trying to review the item before he even took a bite of it. Like it, it, it just doesn't make any sense, dude. There's an item on the baker's rack as well. It's bread. You made me choke and die. <laughs> Had a meeting. Did I miss anything? I was talking about how uh, I think Hawk Tua is kind of a fraud, but I still don't have a problem with the Costco guys because the Costco guys haven't sold out to Elon and like uh, shitcoin investors. They're still, they're sticking with largely the original bit, and it might not last forever. I mean, eventually, they got to make a tough choice, right? Because at some point, like the, I mean, the Rizzler's going to turn like 14, and he's not going to be able to get as much mileage out of the, and then that's where it's going to become very tempting. They're like, what if they could just, what if they make Rizzle coin and I get 20% of the tokens? Like, well, who's the... Who's to say that it's actually harmful? But for now, I like that they're kind of sticking to the... They're doing it for the love of the game, you know? Pac Tua, and I, I don't really blame her for selling out. I blame her for who she sold out to. But maybe she's a true believer, in which case I guess I am blaming her down to the core. But um, she, she sold out and started the grift like borderline immediately. She didn't even wait till she hit like a lull. And the engines cut out, like, it was like day two. She started the grift. Don't get me wrong, I get it. I just wish that it was more like, you know, factor meals instead of like... Bit on that thing. Octomus by Tezlua and stuff like that. But maybe that's... Maybe that's my own cross to bear. Octomus tweet, one of the worst of all time, is really bad. And I like... Her her analytics are getting worse with every single one too. I mean, I feel like she, <laughs> the the Doge surfing on the surfboard, me riding the Bitcoin wave, her face on the dog's body or whatever. You're just like, ah, you're not even breaking one k on that. And those people will like anything. <laughs> Have you seen them in the replies, man? <laughs> There's dudes like in the replies of the Rizzler videos that are like, yes, my king, check out dollar sign Riz. And even those motherfuckers are getting like 11 likes. Crypto daughter or podcast son. I mean, there's nuances to this, okay? The answer is probably podcast son, but it also depends on the crypto. I could live with a, with a Bitcoin daughter. I could live with an ETH daughter. 
if she starts getting any further out there. And I know you're like, what about Solana? No, I'm drawing the line at Ether, okay? I wouldn't, I wouldn't support it, okay? I wouldn't support it. But if she, was, if she has to be in the crypto, at least be in the Bitcoin, okay? <laughs> you might say Bitcoin's the most cringe. You haven't been down the rabbit holes I've been down, okay? I promise you, it gets worse. But there's some pretty bad podcasts out there, too. I can't be that mad about podcasts, though, because podcasts are basically just... I, I literally clicked the right stick to try to do Witcher Vision to, like, see what items I need in here. Podcasts are like my Isaac. You, you catch, like, a little bit of a wave, you got to feed the beast. How do you feed the beast? Back in 2012 or whatever, you just find a, an opportunity to talk more. For me, that was the Binding of Isaac. Now, these days, it's like I had a viral video. Time to do a podcast sponsored by FanDuel three times a week. He's so right. Slime, I was just... They, people are trying to pit two bad bitches against each other. People are like... I, I like the Rizzler. I just find him delightful. I don't know how else to describe it. People were saying, did you see Slime go in on the Rizzler? I said, yeah, I saw it. And you know what? I plus twoed it. I could see how he would have that opinion. And I also said Slime was not putting on airs. He's an organic hater. Like, he, the, he did not say, like, I'm going to get some clout by dunking on the Rizzler. He feels the distaste, like, in his bones. So how could I be mad at him for expressing his true nature? I'm mad when people put on airs, when they become, you know, acolytes for something, but they're not true believers, or they become haters of something, but they're just doing it to get some clicks. Here's that attention you ordered. I think it's weird to hate an eight-year-old. I'm, I guess I'm just not ageist like you. I can totally understand it. There's been like four-year-olds I've hated at the park. Were they like at the park ba acting churlish around my daughter? I'm like, man, I hate this kid. If I, it, I, was thinking, I was talking about this with Justin, okay? Because we were talking about chat. And I was saying, when I'm not streaming, all men are created equal. I have, you cannot turn me against my brother, okay? And I recognize that every single person watching this, for the most part, I'm assuming, is a real human being, okay? I want what's best for you. I want you to live a fulfilled life. I want you to reach the top of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And I want you to have a life well lived. Then, you motherfuckers, type something like... You are seriously dumb, and you broke the social code, and I wish nothing but the worst for you. I, I'm, I'm praying on your downfall. I will be slash user putting in your username and scrolling up until there's a message where you went through some like hard shit eight months ago, and I'll be looking at that and saying, you get what you fucking deserve. Until I interact with you, I love my fellow man. So be careful when you throw that first stone, okay? Because I don't have a problem with you until you have a problem with me. You guys ever order something at the restaurant that costs market price? Um, I don't think I've been to a restaurant that affords me that option. It happens at like a like a fish restaurant or a steakhouse from time to time. Oh, oh like the go. fish is going yeah, bad, yeah, so they... Tough, uh, tough. I think it's like they want to pretend that they bought it from like the market that day. That's I don't I don't respect that when I see m.p. dot on the menu. Nah, might pass. That's what it stands for for a guy like me. What about a restaurant where everybody has to sit down at the same time? And there's like 10 tables. And they have 10 meals and it's a silent auction. You bid what you would pay for that meal. That's, that's great. That is good. What if we turned eating into uh, gambling? And you could accidentally pay a lot of money for something you don't even really want. I'm gonna be the guy that pays 500 bucks for mac and cheese. <laughs> There's gonna be I'm like gonna a five-year-old kid at the next table fucking in tears, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the chicken tenders, you know. Oh, man. I'm gonna get addicted to restaurant gambling. 10, respectable. You know bad. what, I still have enough for the star. That so. shit pisses me off, because I don't. Oh no, <laughs> you gotta win, brother. Well, as long as you don't get last, you'll get a coin. Oh, no. okay, it's in God's hands. Come on, man. 
take this out. Guys. Uh, oh, this is my favorite fun. game, man. Start. You like this genuinely? Because it's so, like, I don't know, nothing in Mario Party matters, but this is, like, the thing that matters the least. This is the quintessential oh. nothing matters, okay, yeah. Come on, come on. What do I got? A one, two, four, five, a one out of... of, of don't of do math, just do it. Yeah, it's a one out of 15. M middle, middle, man. Middle, middle. Watch this. Fuck yeah! Uh, of course. Oh no, God, no, we're on the God Seed! No, I'm going last on the God Seed! First key, first door. You're crazy, yeah, you're crazy. Right? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. It's hexagon left, it's hexagon left. That's legit what I was just thinking. Oh, we'll do it, man. You fucker. No, that's why you I can't do it, do it you now. You do it. Oh, you're gonna let him have oh, hexagon left. This, brother. Oh, he's switching it up, making him remember stuff. Oh, shit, dude. No, he's still gonna do hexagon left. <laughs> You're not gonna bait know. me. I I had my play. I'm taking my play. Hexagon left. Oh! oh my God. God damn it! Oh, well, Bear's got a 50-50 now. Sure do. I'm gonna try this one out. I think he's got it. I really like that one. Nope. Oh shit! Oh. Then the ghost is gonna like take the other one away. Yeah, if it makes you any better, it was only for like five coins anyway. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt me. Minus yes. 10 for this is, uh, is bad news that bears. That stings. That does sting. Yeah. Okay, bring me back. Come on now. Yes. Give me, uh, right. give me Bruiser Brawl. Guys, we need to vote together here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruiser yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not Bruiser Brawl. Uh, lost in pound, guys. Lost in pound. Yeah, I think, yeah. It's, I think it's gotta be lost in pound. Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't giving y'all shit this time. You see right through every lie I try to tell. I already know where you're going. Start. You don't know nothing. I'm locked in. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm not even. I'm, I'm holding the controller upside down and I'm pressing the button at random. I don't even know what I'm hitting right now. Watch this insta lock. What'd you lock? I locked right. I'm gonna go left. I'm gonna go top. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in your head. Round two. No pressure, bear. All right, this time. I'm going to hit all four buttons at once. Oh, I like it. I like it. That's It'll be chaos. a button closer I, to the tip of his thumb. I also hit all four buttons at once. I'm going I bottom. I mirror his action. <laughs> I went bottom. I'm going back to right because Bear likes to be cheeky. I hit all four buttons at once. Oh, god my god. damn you. I hit right. I did the same thing. I tracked them, dude. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. I just want to yes. win. <laughs> I should work for the fucking FBI. <laughs> Is he just getting the star? Oh my god, he is. But he can't. He's having enough coins! Oh. 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 But he might raffle. No, it's way too much for no, a raffle. Too, too much, too much for a raffle. The thing I bought Scenic would co route. cost a coin too, so it's not like I screwed myself over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's alright, Toad's still gonna call you a brokey. You yeah. stealing from Ryan though back then did, did, did you steal it from Well, me? well, well. That's pretty good though. Not bad. Not bad. 12 coins. And there's still the chance for the game to do the funniest possible thing. And roll oh, yeah. a one or a two. Easily. Oh wow. shit, that's pretty funny too, for a guy like me. And what do we say to rolling one or twos? <laughs> yes, um, man. Not today. Shame, shame. Shame. What's your name? What's your name? Yeah, no. that's um You got a star. Bam, 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 that's David bam, Bowie. Bam, me a second. I'm embarrassed, but it took me a second. That's me. That's that's me. I think I just went right by that too. That's me. Out my way. I'm going to a hidden block. I'm the hidden block. Yes! No. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. It's a star. Ain't no star way. It's it is. Because oh! it's two points. Right? Out, oh, out, magic. brief motherfucking candle. Public enemy Mini number one. Life is but a shadow that dances across the stage. Two this turns ago, Ryan. Oh, 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 oh you got to do sled to the edge. You got to do sled to the edge. Ryan, you just became a boobell target, man. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just happy I got a star, man. Plus, I get to play sled to the edge. Oh, I fucked up. Now. No one fell for that? What? Oh, 
Oh, it's gonna be close, boys. It's gonna be close. Oh, boy. No! Ah, no! no! Holy shit, man! Holy shit! Is that better than the one we had the other day? Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Point zero Holy one shit, yards? Dude. What is that? Like a nanometer? <laughs> Give me a high five through the oh. in, through the internet! Oh my god! Yeah! Oh, I'm gonna throw up! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, this is a big turn here for me. Is he gonna use your bell already? Nanny oh, state, ah. Wario where? Does Wario give me two blue bells? I don't um, believe maybe? so. <laughs> Probably not. If you were Any, buying... Anyone in chat know that Mar if Wario gives you two blue bells? There's no way. I don't believe so. I'm like, seeing some yeses in the chat. Well when you use it. your dice and stuff, you don't get you don't get well, two dice. I mean, he leaves next turn, so we gotta find out. I don't think you would duplicate your item. That would be crazy. Well, and it would be duplicating the boo, not the item. So let's find out. Let's find out. Welcome um, back to gaming, I mean, Mythbusters. Mouth, it's just a second place. Well, Mouth's farther from the star than Ryan. Oh, this is hard. Ryan's about to get a star. Oh, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go, Ryan here, because he's, close, he's closest to the star. I didn't want to say I, anything. I take it as a compliment, honestly. I was gonna say you, Ryan, also has a couple items that would help him, whereas I don't. Anyone who said yes in the chat's about to get banned if, if, I, don't, if I don't get a second screen. I love that. Fair trade. Because no one, no one said maybe. Everyone just said yes confidently. Oh! Wow! Oh! Wow! Well, Game it's kind of BS. Because <laughs> they don't let you, they don't double your dice. Right? <laughs> you were real happy a second ago, man. I'm just well, saying, of course man. I was. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good. The double blue bell is insane, man. That's wild. Crazy. Allies are strong as hell, man. Okay. Oh, oh for oh, versus oh. two. Boys, oh, if I can steal enough of your coins so you can't steal, give me a 20. Boys, it's on site. Versus you know what to do. I mean, we gotta put him in the dirt. Doesn't change anything. It's less Damn. important. Damn. I still wanna win. Sandwich. My god, it Mega, finally happens. Is, I, don't, I don't know this I don't one. Know I also have never played this. I believe it or not. What do we do? What is this? this? What is? What do we do? <laughs> it's a waffle. Iron. We gotta shoot some stuff with our cannons, obviously. I've oh, never seen this in my life, man. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> they just made this game today. <laughs> oh! Oh shit! Shoot him! Oh, he's free shot, motherfucker. Okay, he's he's gaming. I got hit by a wrench! Oh shit, phase two? Phase, phase two. two? He's pissed! Oh, we never played this fucking before! This game rules! Ass shit, man! What?! Don't shoot the wrong ones. That's a big one. I didn't shoot the wrench. No! Oh, you gotta shoot the... No! No! I don't like the wrenches anymore! Wait, I can't shoot him because I'm shooting the wrenches. Fuck you. This is the best mini game I've ever played. No, the wrench! I'm the only one getting wrenched, man! No, you're not! You're just not shooting the wrenches. But if I shoot the wrench, I can't shoot him! Oh, I lost. I lost it. What the fuck? You guys oh. are amazing, man. Final attack! <laughs> five plus five! Ah. Oh! That game is the best. 
That was crazy, dude. Finish. <laughs> that was wild. I think I got one on the last half of the fight. <laughs> I, I threw pretty hard at the end for sure. The color of my thing being green and my guy being red messed me up a lot. Oh, wrench yeah. makes you lose three coins too. Yeah, you gotta shoot. Oh. Them. Lucky me. I don't know why I was like, I wonder what space it is. Like how, how far away and not am I away place? from who? Last place stores a free good item. This is this could be anything. Nah, man, you don't even know. Okay, item, well, item bag. Well. Uh, two golden pipes, bitch. <laughs> boo bell pipe. Boo bell pipe. Creepy blight. Er, Item creepy. steal. Bowser phone. <gasps> Bowser phone. Dude, I wish you got that chest a while ago. You could have took it. Freaking oh boy. Hell. I ain't gonna have an item steal. That's British crazy. Mario Party be like, oh fuck. King Koopa's mobile. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just I'm trying. No, don't be, don't I've been playing sorry. a lot of Mario Party oh, guys, lately. Guys, you know, you know what to pick here. Look at the look at the timing on the game here, huh? It always kind of ends at a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, what are you talking about? We got like 80 more oh, minutes. Oh, never mind. I thought this was last turn. Uh oh. It's not that bad though. We, we got, got another hour minutes. left. Ten only minutes. Only two to turns turn. left. Probably be like six, seven minutes late if I had to go. Oh, oh never no. Mind. Damn it. <laughs> Why does he have to be there? Luigi's game is so fucking long, too. Oh man. no, it's the stressful one. It's like the nine puzzles in a row one. Then you see a big ten here. Three or four. That's a big roll. That's pretty good. That gets us close. It puts us in range. Please don't land on the shop, though. Oh shit. I land on the, I land on the shop. He'd like. Oh, we do! I can take your coins away! No, no, no. I'm a stud. I'm a stud in doing this. Oh my god! Ryan, if you ever needed to clutch up. Oh my Jeez, god! I'm ready. No they slappers. They said it couldn't be done. Oh. This is, this is yeah. all marble. And then one of you lands on Luigi. I Holy win. I get to steal two stars. Oh, I come right I'm back. Not, I'm not good at this one, and he's so goaded. He's sandbagging. Oh boy, the standoff already. Yeah, I, I don't. Let's oh jeez. What? Oh boy, he's 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 sitting pretty here. Can I do anything if you just don't jump? Wait, I can't uh, win. No, can uh, I? Yeah, no, I think he broke the game. Oh, oh uh -oh. no. Uh oh. Oh nice. come on. Good shot. Good shot. Wow, that was so nice. fast. Good hit. Why oh, was it always, man? Let's go. Oh. It's, it's ass, dude. It's ass. Come on, man. Let's go. Any other duel game, man. Oh, Bros no. played this like 13 times. Because you always duel me. Everybody wants to duel me. <laughs> A duel rules. A duel rules. Now, one of you get to one of you get to Luigi and let me win the game so I can steal two stars and then we're right back in this. <laughs> He's raffling, dude. Why wouldn't I? Oh, he is raffling. A gold pipe here could change everything. A uh, boo bell. Come on. <laughs> oh, six. six balls. Oh, oh my shit. God. Six let is my favorite down, number. Dude. Let, let, let us see every one. Savor every single ball. Oh, I'm... Okay, I mean, if he gets a golden go. pipe, man, this is a I crazy mean, the all turn. That matters here. Oh shit, he's fucking Just give rich, me that dude. Chance. Three to go, three to go. Oh! oh my god! <laughs> oh wait. Oh wait, I can only use one anyways, so. Yeah, you get one. Yeah, you'd probably use it's the golden gone. in this situation. I would imagine, yeah. Okay, even if he gets a second one, it doesn't matter. Give me red. Who's good? I mean, getting all these coins doesn't matter. And then it puts too. this, he, land, he uses the golden pipe, gets the star, rolls huge, gets Boo, won the Luigi game, steals two, buys two stars, and steals two stars with <laughs> Luigi. You're overheating, man. Luigi's not there. Please roll. Yeah, I Luigi's steal like, one here. You, it's you an interesting turn because I I'm, could plunder your golden pipe. Oh! Do that, right? I, I can't it's imagine a, 50, a world 50. in which I would not do oh it. Oh my goodness. I didn't say anything because I didn't want you to think of it, but if you don't steal <laughs> Apollo's star here, 
I'm gonna steal Apollo's star. He has five Our stars. Our friendship is over. Oh. That's, that's all right. A, a green pipe is just as good as a golden pipe if you <laughs> get close to the star. He's not. He's not wrong. Please Wait. Why? Why did you take a green pipe? I don't choose. Yeah, it's random. Oh. Oh, oh Luigi. Luigi's gonna get Luigi. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna oh start God. on Luigi at least. Uh, you know how it is. You take from the guy in first. Oh, it's gotta be. I don't know what this could possibly look like. I think I've made a mistake. Did Ryan really put the penguin in the shark? It's not a penguin, it's like a dolphin, right? Go, go, go. Go put the shit on that easel, man! No, I'm cooked. I'm he's, cooked. He's, he's giving me time to come back. Ryan. Guys. <laughs> I have time to look at yours and wonder what is going on, man. Guys. There's no way, dude. I get it now. I get it now. <laughs> That's, That's embarrassing, embarrassing It's a four-piece puzzle, but there's five pieces, man! It doesn't make sense! Oh shit, I still gotta clear a fucking path, dude. Worst uh, Sokoban seed of all time? Oh, I fucked this up. Finish. Oh, oh shit, he got it. <laughs> I think I know how to do it, I just never get to actually do it, because I'm... Yeah. Why did it have to be up? puzzles, man? <laughs> is that the remembering the orders now, Spider? Remembering the freaking shapes, like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. To like be like oh, that one is like. A, <laughs> do not ask Ryan what a shark looks like, man. I didn't know. How do you know it's a shark? Because there was a penguin with sunglasses. It could have been a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw a picture of it, I'd be like, "That's a fucking shark." But I didn't see a picture you of it. I only got. I I only saw canvas. There's you know four penguins with their big it, ass fins, dude. Mini game. You guys, you That's guys right, win, win this mini game? Dude, this is a, I, it's a fucking I crazy need finish. To win this mini game. No, I need to win this mini game. Oh, so I mean, it's gotta be gatekeepers. The gatekeepers. It's gotta be flumpy. It's gotta be gatekeepers, man. Bear, come over here so we have a better chance don't, of not you don't wanna do. You don't wanna do that. I wanna play True Top Treasure. It's gatekeepers by a mile. Let's oh, go. Oh, oh, so anybody's bitch, game. Hopefully mine. I'm going first. I'm taking triangle to the right. He would. Start. If I go first, I'm 100% doing circle left, man. So the mistake there is that the answer is uh, clearly. Fuck! Fuck! Circle He's left. gonna take my strategy, man. Go banana. Circle oh, left. you I said it. you fool! I can't believe you. No! <laughs> Big, that's you. I could still be right. I just hate it. It's so bad. What I it, just hate it. What are you doing? Put it in the middle. Triangle goes in the right, man. I'm sorry, you're right. You gotta do it, Mal. Triangle goes in the right. Oh. They they don't want to win, man. They don't want to win. Correct. <laughs> well, now you have a 50/50 for the middle door, and if you don't. No win, shot, bro. Win. It's triangle right. I got a 100-0 <laughs> for triangle right. Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody ever Is listens it like to me. The same or something? Nobody, I don't someone pick this for me. I don't want to do this myself. I'm so sick of getting laughed. They don't ever take off. me seriously. Uh it's it's diamonds to the middle. Oh help him. Which diamond. The right diamond. Alright, I'm gonna go right diamond. God damn it. You just made an enemy for life. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a four-piece puzzle, man. Give me gatekeepers. <laughs> I'm fucking clutch at this. You're pretty clutch too, because you you also FC'd the role at the right start of it. Yeah. Row, Bowser Revolution would fuck this all up, man. That'd be bad would, for me because I, I have. It would be that. bad for like everybody. I don't think it would be good for anyone. Except Bowser. Yeah, Bowser shuffle. Bowser shuffle. For me. Shuffle me, you will shuffle me. That's not even on there! Oh my god! No, no, man, no. Oh my god. And I don't get it. Like, it's just worse for me. Oh. 
uh, it's all it's all come down to the last mini game. Whoever wins the last mini game will have more coins than everyone else. Holy shit! Unless well, Ryan has his turn still. I'm still in the game. Yeah. I could have won the most coins. Don't don't I count me out. Don't game. count you. You just wait till I. I don't I don't know what the fuck. I'm we need Ryan to five. land on anything other than a lucky. Five. Spin. I could have stolen. You guys don't think that I'm gonna win um, any of the bonus stars, huh? <laughs> We don't know who's gonna win the bonus stars, man. Yeah, well, get ready for this shit. See you in hell. I will this be moving be. to bow to could be. the to star space of the boo space. I will be going. To, I will be going to the oh. bottom layer. That's, thank God. Thank and God. And having God's choice. fucking nothing come to pass. Yeah, that's God's choice right there. And rolling a one. Oh, a seven! It goes to the lucky space. It's gotta be done. Lucky. Please, it needs to be seven coins. It needs to be seven coins. No, ten coins. Oh, we can't catch them. Well, you all wanted your revolution. I got it. I'm happy. You dude. wheeled it into uh, he needs two, He needs both. He needs both bonus stars. Yeah, yeah, it's it's gonna be tough for a guy like me. Oh, this is. But it could happen. Well, it's not gonna be a bruiser bash. Yeah. I'm telling you that, man. <laughs> Oh. oh! All right, lock the fuck in. I had a chance with the other one, but well, this won't change anything, Ryan, except for you know. Yeah, but I just I like it. Two. Yeah. One. Go. What? Oh, sorry. Oh, my sorry. bad. We're in. I thought you could spam it. I've been spamming it this whole time, and I guess I've just been getting lucky. I will no longer spam. Oh frick! It's so it's Jover. Oh, we fucked up once. Yeah, but I. And by we, I mean me. But saying we is funny. Yeah. Finish. MVP. Ooh, la, 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 those last three were quick, MVP. man. MVP. I like that. Oh boy. Oh, oh wasn't okay. yeah. there we it's go. a damn bloodbath. Humans really are insane at pressing one button Dude, this at the right the time. Dude, this might be the exciting, exciting ending to a Mario Party. It might be a had. tie, man. Just, what no. do, they, do you roll? Do you roll a in a tie? roll off? That would be amazing. Don't get too excited, guys, because I'm about to get both bonus stars, so... <laughs> no, no, no just don't be coins. Don't be coins. Oh, I need a chart, man. Who I need fucking game, man. has the biggest nuts? Bowser, oh, Bowser it's Donkey space. Kong! It's Donkey <laughs> Kong! Bowser space. Bowser space, please. Did anybody land on the Bowser space, or is it just me? You, you, unless the Bowser phone counts, which I don't think it does, then it would be you. I think you would also take red, too, because Bowser counts as a red space. <sighs> what a oh, game, dude. Mini game, mini game, mini game. Oh! oh my god, oh. Oh. Holy oh, shit. I need mini game, and then it's a... No, it's not a tie. I have more coins than him because of the, the 1v3. Come on, Oh, you're game. right, you're right. I don't know. Yeah, probably Paulo. I have no idea. Oh! Yes! <laughs> Way to go, guys. I hope you're happy. Oh, God! <laughs> yeah, I didn't do any. I stole a star from him. <laughs> <laughs> what a game. What a game. If I had a roll of five instead, though, because I was going to steal a star from you, oh, Apollo. Of course, of course. Uh, yeah, it would have been the other one. Plus, also, the Bowser Resolu Revolution wouldn't have happened. Which would have changed. It was a wild revolution, no doubt. Dude, that's Crazy. a fucking yeah, that's close, 17 that stars insane. in 15 turns. That's like a dream game. Blue fucking Space Red Award. Space Why don't you tell me to just fucking die? Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's a little better than Red Space Award, buddy. <laughs> I guess that's true. Oh, good game, right, guys. Alright, go have lunch. Yeah, good game, good game. Thanks good for being game. here. Agreed. Oh, man. What a game, man. What a game. We'll be back tomorrow. Kate's already live. I'm going to send you over there. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll be back. Um, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. We could maybe finish Silent Hill 2. It would be nice. Always nice to play some Mario Party 2, but I'll, I'll see you. Goodbye. I love it when you suck me like that and when you close it. Give me the shivers, two, three, and baby, we're gonna go till I split your crack. And when you see the bodies over, then you throw it right back. Cause I said, ooh, something slid. Was I close?
He doesn't say that. He says something like that. You make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The way you suck me off, I go. And don't ever look, baby, with your ripped up jeans and your skin tight jeans and your teenage jeans tonight. That's a banger, too. But you didn't have to suck me up. Put my underpants down and throat my member. But you didn't have to bite it off and spit it out and get me feel so low. <laughs> what? Something like it's so. I didn't write the song, dude. It's something like that, okay? Leave those parodies to Justin. I still think about it every time I hear the song, which is like every 80s ride on Peloton. John Cougar Mellencamp's uh, Jack and Diane. Sucking off chili dudes inside the morgue's deep freeze. Jack's wearing a winter coat. He's got a pillow underneath his knees. Let them rock, let them roll. Let the Bible Belt come and save my soul. I think about your pisses on my lips like all the time. Because your piss, your piss is on my lips. Because your piss, your piss, I can't resist. Because your piss is on my lips. When I turn out the lights. <laughs> I have Vanessa Carlton's song stuck in my head, except it's sucking a dick downtown. Sucking fast, stations passed, and I'm homebound. And I throat you. I don't know why I'm using throat. I guess because you gotta, you need a lot of synonyms for suck in order to make the song feel clever. And I piss you. 